What is up, everybody? Today we are out trapping some beavers and gonna set just a handful of muskrat traps too. I'm uh, trapping a river here. You guys have seen me trap beaver in this river a few times over the years. Um, the beaver haven't been around here for a few years. I just happened to stop by and I just, cause the water, the water here is way down. I mean, it's down like three feet. And before I could walk most of it, but there were some deeper spots that would go over my weeders. So I couldn't reach the beaver lodge out here. Water's way down. So I knew I could walk out here just to look at it. My initial plan was to set, you know, maybe some muskrat traps along the river. But uh, yeah, so I did find down along the river here. I found four spots where I can set some open water pad traps for the muskrats. And then as I was walking down, I found a peeled stick in the water. I'm like, oh. And then just down past here you guys will see it we can kind of see it right out in the water out there there's some peeled sticks and I looks like they were trying to I don't know you guys will see it looks like they're trying to build like a little feeder hut or something a uh, beaver and I thought oh they moved and then I got down here and I found out that they have mudded up the old hut here um, yeah so here is the old hut that they have built. Guys, I'm not kidding you. I don't have pictures, but I have memories of this beaver hut from 25 years ago. This beaver hut used to be massive and I would drive by it all the time. My dad would just be like, no, we're not trapping them. I hate trapping river beaver. Um, the monstrous house, it was deep. There was a big feed pile out here. Super cold one day. I talked him into stopping and letting me do some trapping came out here I set there was three runs on this lodge like the water's super clear I mean I, I have it muddied up right now but the water's super clear uh, and I still vaguely have the memory of showing up and seeing from the road I could see it was cold out it was like the next day it was like five below but you could see humps of fur out in the water with ice around them. so I knew I connected on some beaver one of my favorite memories uh, so right here, you guys, there is a run that comes out. It's shallow. Like, I don't even know if I can get my 330 into the water. It's so shallow, okay? And then right on the back side of the lodge over there, too, there's another run that came out under that old stump, kind of, in some bog. Well, there was a whole bunch of sticks over the top of that run, so I just grabbed them and, like, pulled them until they're all out. So there's only two runs coming out of this beaver lodge, and I'm going to set them both up. Be nice to connect on a couple river beaver. Um, yeah, and then we'll set some rat traps you guys. I'm doing this with my GoPro because I really don't have anywhere great to set up my tripod, so I apologize. Um, some video you guys will see will be with the GoPro, some will be full feature with the camera, you know, especially when, when ice get hits here, you guys, I can set a camera on the ice anywhere, but open water trap is kind of tough. Anyway, let's get at it. All right, it's super shallow right here, you guys, just so you know, there's a... There's a big run coming out under the stump. And what it is is, it goes back here and then it turns and it goes up into the lodge right there. So we're gonna be setting that run back there. I'm just gonna do a little walking up over this stump here. Really cool to see these old stumps and everything in the water where the beaver have been traveling for, you know, decades and decades. I'm gonna get into the water here. Oh gosh, oh there, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Safeties are wired up. Like that. I assume the beavers are in the lodge, you know, generally. Oh. All right, you guys. So I am just gonna see here. I got my sticks here. There's a stick there. Other oh, stick is right there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna feel with my feet about where I want this trap to go. And then I'm gonna put it down there. And the cool part about this is, I mean, I can, I can actually move this trap around right now, you guys. On the bottom a little bit.
right, you guys. I put that trap right where I think the center of the run is. Oh, there we go. Put the trap in the center of that run, just ran two sticks right through the springs, okay? And then I have my my cable here to wire it off. I'll just stick it on. It doesn't really matter. I don't this beaver ain't going anywhere. It's kind of caught up in the middle of a bunch of trees anyway. So I think I'll just oh, shove this down into the brush like this. Put this over it and it will be going nowhere. Alright you guys. This is kind of cleared up pretty good. You can see there's a run right here. It's gonna, I mean it's a really shallow run. It's should be a really easy set. You know, I'm just gonna push this off to the side and get that out of the way. This too. This one will be really easy to set. Whether it produces a beaver easily or not, I do not know. Okay. Got my stick here. Uh, got both my sticks here actually. Let's see here now. Right there should be a should be an easy should be an easy catch you guys. Put this over here. Trap should go in nicely right around in here somewheres. And it barely, I mean, <laughs> this thing barely is under the water, you guys. Let's see here. It's like that and like this. Stick through one side like so. Go. Stick through the other side, like so. Just like that, you guys. It literally was that, e that easy. Now hopefully, beaver comes out, has the same uh, mindset, and just get caught right in that trap, you guys. Now we're gonna move on and we're gonna set some rat traps. This is what I was talking about when I said, like, I don't know if the beaver are building like another hut or something or what the deal is. See, there's sticks and there's ruts. I mean, it looks to me like they're trying to build something. Okay. Because look, they got it all. They got it all mudded up, like you would a hut. But there's no run. I can't find no run going up into it anywhere. You know, there's nothing, no, nothing here. I don't think there's nothing here anywhere. Nothing here, nothing here. Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's just no run going up into it, you guys. Let's move around the corner here to where I put out my muskrat stuff. I mean, let's get a muskrat or two tomorrow. Add a little. The muskrats have been up on this, uh, up on this chunk of bog here, eating stuff, roots and all that good jazz. Um, so I'm just gonna put this wooden dowel that I have here into the mud. First, I'm gonna wire my trap off down below here a little ways. Normally I just grab a couple sticks, but I had these wooden dowels laying around. Here we go. Perfect. Shove that down there. Pretty simple to trap. Open water muskrats, you guys. It's 
not cold um, when you're strapping these rats so it's relatively easy just gonna set your trap then uh, get it down in there like so and then when they climb up on there they get caught and then they jump off there and drown so that's one rat trap in Okay, another spot here where they've been eating up on the bog. If I can get a hold of my wire here, you guys. And shove this. Well, same thing, I'll wire this one off. This, uh, this one here. So that last one was just a regular Victor number one jump trap. Good trap. I like to use them this one here is an old duke stop loss bought these brand new back in like 1994 brand new back in 1994 with my dad trapped a lot of rats with these traps stop loss traps are a way to go if you get a chance traps just like that just gonna make a nice little indentation for the trap to sit on and just put her in like that. Underwater is better, but rats don't care. Trap number two in. Over here, got a nice feeder spot. Got a Got a number one Victor stop loss jump trap. You guys probably don't see those very often. If, if you have ever seen one even, I guess I could say. Same thing, just gonna wire this guy off here. Shove it down to the bottom a bit. Oops. This one will be interesting. I've never, I just acquired the, this trap recently from a friend of mine. Good trap, good feeling trap though, you guys. I mean, that set down there see that like that just gonna get that down there get that in there nice and deep get my wire down there Ugh, there we go trap number three And then just down around the corner here is number four going in. Okay. Stop loss trap here, you guys. I'm gonna pull this out and put a wire on here. Shove this down to the bottom quite a ways. Also, there we go. 
One more duke here, you guys. We got, ooh, here we go. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself it went a little too far on that one. Okay, come on, come on. Here you guys, okay. There we go. Another Duke stop loss. Rats have been up in here chewing. And get that just like that. Trap number four, you guys. All right, you guys. Well, got a uh, got a few traps set out. A um, bunch of beaver traps, a few muskrat traps. Uh, yeah, looking forward to the check. My strap is twisted. Oh. Yo, you guys, we are back to check the river beavers. There's a <laughs> oh, had to wait, that was a good one. Anyway, river beavers and muskrats. Kind of where we're at today. Set this lodge up yesterday. Um, two sets on the lodge itself. And then another set down further where the beavers and otters are definitely traveling through there. Um, like 20 years ago, I caught an otter in there. Yeah, it took a few weeks because, you know, if you're not tra trapping right around where they're living, they travel through anywhere from one day to two weeks, you know, that area. But we're going to wander down. Hopefully we can pick up a muskrat, you guys. There's four active feeder pads out here. I don't see why we can't pick up at least one muskrat. So, and then maybe a beaver, maybe an otter. Who knows? Let's do it. Here we are going down the way here. And there's nothing in this first trap, you guys. A little bit of ice on it too. I'm gonna get rid of that ice. It'll probably melt today anyway, but still. Nothing in that rat trap. Come on now. You gotta get a muskrat, you guys. Mm. Hopefully in this sweet like number one stop loss jump trap set. Kind of a wild trap. Wild looking trap anyway. Um, nope, nope, trap's still sitting there. It's a bummer, you guys. How am I supposed to catch muskrats if they don't go into my sets? I'll have to, that one's frozen in pretty good. Stupid ice, Minnesota. What I'll do is while we're down checking the other traps, maybe I'll just hang this. In under the water in that the there we go see that you guys I'm gonna hang that on top of the stake under the water so that will melt by the time I get back <sighs> let's see let's continue on I should say breaking ice breaking more ice oh hey you guys I see a tail I see a tail, you guys. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. I was gonna say, man, how can we not get at least one rat out of this whole situation? Looks like they might have been back too. A few rats. Got the trap here. Got the old Duke stop loss. Get a nice front foot catch on this rat, you guys. Reset this quick. Get all the crap off of it. First of all, you guys. The old Duke, she comes through, you guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. She knows how to. She knows how to produce. Put that, well, 
let me get a little closer here. We'll remedy this. Break all that up. Rats tend to travel all day, so. All right, you guys. Hey, there we go. Our first muskrat in a nice open water set. I'm gonna leave them there because there's no sense in carrying them all the way down and then all the way back, you know? That's a missed rat right there, you guys. <sighs> that could have been the one that got caught at the next one too, who knows. <clears throat> we'll reset this quick. Arr! Number one, these number one jumps are good traps, you guys. Don't let them miss, get you down, because you're gonna miss a lot of rats if you're rat trapping. Oh, gotta, there we go, maybe that'll, there we go, that's, I feel better about that. All right, you guys, clear this off. Then we'll get down to the other traps down here. Okay. Walking, I can see a beaver right there in that 330. That's what we like to see. You guys, at least one catch. Anyway. Oh, it's a small beaver. <laughs> it's a very small beaver. I caught him going in. So if I caught this beaver going in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Caught this beaver going in, you guys, and just from right here, you guys probably can't see, but right there in the center of the frame, I can see a beaver tail sticking up by the rushes right there. So that's definitely a beaver, and that's a big beaver. Nice. All right, well, we'll go take the big beaver out first and reset quick. Now you can actually see how clear this water is here, where the beaver have been going under this. They go under here, and then they take a sharp turn. Oh yeah, that's a beaver tail. Big beaver tail, you guys. Perfect, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Perfect catch on this big beaver, it looks like. <laughs> See the tail? <laughs> right there. Um, there's one stick that I poked into the bottom. That looks like a big beaver, you guys. Like a really big beaver, maybe. Oh yeah, freaking giant. Freaking monster, you guys. It looks like big beaver. Oof -da. Really big beaver. And I got this guy coming into the lodge. So I got both these beaver coming in, okay? Maybe that other thing down there is a lodge and they have a hole going into it somewhere. Maybe they'll have to look into putting a trap on it. Interesting. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take this guy out here somehow. There's that. Let's check out this monster. Oh, big beaver, you guys. Oof, the big beaver. Big old. Monster tail's a little chewed up from living the river life, I'm sure. Any beavers that live on a river can usually fight with anyone from down further. That's a big beaver. Lens is still clean. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, big beaver, big beaver. Pull these sticks out, this stick out. And this stick out, oh, there we go. It's a little, I didn't think there'd be any little guys in here. They must have moved into spring and had them.
Oh, there we go, you guys. Big one and a small one. And a muskrat and a muskrat on this check. I think maybe the one that I put in the channel down there, I might move. I found a spot where they're going under the bog to get behind that beaver house. I don't or maybe there's a little hole there somewhere. I don't know. I think I'm gonna move one of the traps into there. Well you guys, pretty sweet check on that place. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow we'll have more big beaver. Uh, more beaver and probably the other big beaver. Um, I did move a trap, you guys, out of that little channel into a run I found by that weird looking lodge thing. I don't know. Here's our catch. We scored on a muskrat, Shaplow. Small beaver, big beaver, you guys. This is a big beaver. I mean, really big. 60 pounds, no, but I will bet. I'd bet it's probably mid 50s maybe you know I don't know so anyway until the next check we are here for another check on the river beaver river beaver river rats all that good stuff just getting here you guys I can see that the river is iced over when I say iced over I mean it's got a sheet of ice on it which means that my rat traps are gonna be frozen up hard as a rock but the beaver traps will be operational. Hopefully we maybe caught a rat um, in there before it iced up. Uh, the good news is last night was the last cold night. Now it's gonna be highs in the upper 40s and lows in the mid 30s. So this stuff shouldn't freeze over now anymore after the night. So anyway, thought I heard some weird noises come from the culvert. Anyway, let's go and see if we maybe got another rat and got maybe another beaver or two. All right, you guys, we are at the lodge here. Easy trap, yesterday they had a little beaver in it. it, has nothing today. Looks like this one has another huge beaver in it. I'm just looking and I can see big beaver. Oh yeah, that's a big beaver. So weird, you guys, that that other thing down there, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. Whoa, man down. Oh. Oh. I stole that catchphrase from Trapper J. So if you want to hear it again, go to Trapper J's YouTube channel. Okay, big beaver, you guys. Another big beaver. I mean, big beaver. What the heck? What's going on here, you guys? I demand answers. So confusing. Gosh, it's a big beaver. Um. Got this beaver coming out. Um, last ditch effort. He is holding onto the cable in his mouth. Come on, man. Huh. That'll be interesting getting that out of there. But regardless, oh, big beaver, you guys. Gosh, it's a monster. Oh. One down. Gosh, it's another it's a huge beaver, you guys. So I'm stumped for these. What's going on with this other lodge down here? I mean, it's got to be another beaver or something down there. Got to be, right? I mean, I'm no rocket scientist, but here we go, you guys. The trap off of there. Another oh, huge beaver down. Huge beaver down. Woo. I'm gonna climb up here and take a look at Tankzilla here. Oh, pain in the Jesus. Woo. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Huge blanket, you guys. Huge blanket. Well, I don't know. We're gonna leave the traps. There's Got to be more beaver in here, I guess. So, yeah. Well, there's our first rat, first rat trap. There's nothing in it. So I'm just gonna kind of continue on out here, you guys. 
skip around all that shenanigans there. I just hop right in the water over here. Oh, you guys, the old Victor. Victor's always been pretty good to me, except for that last time. Didn't catch nothing. The old Victor stop loss, you guys, connected. Right there. I knew you were good, Victor. <clears throat> Wrapped her up a little bit here, but back leg catching this Victor stop loss. Number one jump, in fact. Pretty cool, I'll probably take a picture of this just to put it online and show a few folks. Look at that textbook catch, you guys. That's exactly what they're supposed to do, too. Well, that's pretty sweet. That's what we've been wanting. Okay, so we're gonna sh reset this trap here. These old, these stop loss like this, you gotta come on. Okay, gotta flip that pan out, then flip the stop loss device back. Okay, then put the pan. Oops. Then put the pan back over the stop loss device and push it down like so Oop, and open and then set your trap like this only problem is once you set your pan tension you're kind of locked in because if you shove your finger under here and pull down the pan it goes off that stop loss device it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt pretty bad you guys okay but we got a rat in the old Victor. Nice rat too. I'm just gonna leave this rat right over here because this is where we're gonna exit. We still got more traps left here too. Even better, huh? And no ice this morning. Makes a big difference when there's no ice to have to break when you're walking through all this crap. Oh, you guys, look at that. Another rat. Ha ha, baby, another rat. Oh my God. There might even be a third rat up there, you guys. Bam. Awesome, you guys. Two rats. A little bit of ice there, we'll put that back. See what happens when the ice doesn't form around all your sets? Get that duke reset like so. She's still a little frozen though, you guys. gonna set this right back back about there okay it's like that another rat will hopefully come up I'll put some stuff right there hopefully my camera isn't dirty it is we're gonna wipe it off got that trap reset that's pretty sweet. Two rats so far, and I, I'm not sure, you guys, but I think I can, up there, I can see something sticking out of the water. And I almost just want to say it's a rat. Because I don't know what else it would be. I mean, let's be real. That's what it is. Another Victor jump trap connected. Rat droned. Oh. Set that guy right there. Back leg catch. This one isn't a big, like a big rat, but 
it's a rat nonetheless. Set that down for a second. Little rat, you guys. Little rat and two big rats. Oh. Let's see here. It's going to be kind of... Push this down on that bog like that. There we go. Another rat comes up, hops in that. He's gonna drown. Well, you guys, got three three rats today. Two really nice sized rats and a small one. So not horrible. No beaver. I think I might have caught all the beaver out of the river. To be 100% honest with you. I don't know. We're gonna check in tomorrow and pull these traps and hopefully get some more rats. See you then.